Hello dear students, welcome to this program. Today we are going to discuss traditional fermented foods of India, cereal and legume based. Before discussing this topic in detail, let's first know its objectives. Brief introduction about fermentation. Fermentation in India, cereal legume based fermented foods and health benefits of fermented foods. Now let's start. Brief introduction about fermentation. Fermented foods are those nutrient rich food stuff that's obtained by microbial metabolic reactions simply called as fermentation reaction. Curd, vinegar, soya sauce, pickles, yogurt, buns, bear and probiotic are the frequently used and family of fermented foods. Fermentation can be defined as slow decomposition reaction of organic substances accelerated by microorganisms or enzymes that essentially convert complex substances into simpler ones as carbohydrates to alcohols or organic acids. Together with drying and salting fermentation is one of the oldest methods of food preservation and embedded in traditional cultures and village life. Fermentation processes are believed to have been developed over the years by women in order to preserve food for times of scarcity to impart desirable flavor to foods and to reduce toxicity. Today, Fermentation is still widely practiced as a household or village level technology in many countries, but comparatively very few operations are carried out at an industrial level. As a technology, food fermentation dates back at least 6,000 years and probably originated from microbial interactions of an acceptable nature. Fermentation has enabled our ancestors in temperate and cooler regions to survive winter season and those in tropics to survive drought periods by improving the shelf life and safety of foods and beverages. Fermentation enhances digestibility, flavor and aroma of food and exerts health-promoting benefits through biological enrichment of food substrates with proteins, essential amino acids, essential fatty acids and vitamins. It may also assist in the detoxification of certain undesirable compounds which may be present in raw foods the importance of fermentation in modern day life is underlined by the wide spectrum of foods marketed both in developing and industrialized countries. Not only for the benefit of preservation and safety, but also for their highly appreciated sensory attributes. Fermented foods are treasured as major dietary constituents in numerous developing countries because of their keeping quality under ambient conditions, thereby contributing to food scarcity, and because they add value, enhance nutritional quality and digestibility, improve food safety and are traditionally acceptable and accessible. Fermentation is a low input enterprise and provides individuals with limited purchasing power access to safe, inexpensive and nutritious foods. Now dear students, moving to the next objective that is fermentation in India. India being a large country displays climatic, ethnic and religious diversities vis-a-vis variation in food production and consumption. A lot of diversity prevails in the food habits of the people living in different parts of the country, especially in the hilly regions where people have evolved indigenous method of preparing fermented foods.
and beverage is based on easily available local raw materials. The skills of food preservation existed in the native people and the know-how of these fermentation was propagated orally. Diversity of fermented foods in Asia is directly related to food culture of each and every community and also the availability of raw materials. India being a huge country has been the home of innumerable religious order of human population and diversity in climatic conditions has resulted in a large number of fermented foods. Fermented foods have heterogeneousness of traditions and cultural preferences found in the different geographical areas where they are produced. They have been consumed since ancient times due to their prolonged shelf life, reduced volume, shorter cooking times and superior nutritive value as compared to the non-fermented ingredients. Fermented products are prepared by controlled fermentation to produce acidity and flavor to a desirable level. There are different fermented products in India such as Idli, Dosa, Dokla, Batura, Misti Dahi, Kadhi, Grinduk, Sinki, etc. In India, lactic acid fermentation of foods as milk, vegetables and fruits is a common practice to preserve and improve the nutritional and sensory features of food. Most of lactic acid bacteria were isolated from various traditional naturally fermented foods and observed as lactic acid bacteria. Indian Traditional fermented foods are generally fermented by lactic acid bacteria such as Lactococcus species, Lactobacillus plantarum, Lactobacillus pantosus, Lactobacillus previs, etc. And they are considered as the probiotic source from these foods. Probiotics are the live microorganism which is administered in adequate amount, it will give health benefits to the consumer, such as Lactobacillus plantarum, Lactobacillus casei, Lactobacillus acidophilus, and Streptococcus lactis, which are supplemented by food that beneficially affect the host by improving its intestinal balance. Fermented foods are classified on the basis of substrate used. Fermented milk products, fermented cereal legume, legume products, fermented cereal products, fermented vegetable and fruit products, fermented meat and fish products, and miscellaneous foods. Cereal and legume based fermented foods Fermentation of cereal-based foods is a common practice all over the world. There are different types of cereal-based fermented beverages which are classified on the basis of the raw material or the type of fermentation involved in the manufacturing process. Alcoholic fermented beverages can be classified into wines and pears while the great majority of non-alcoholic fermentations are souring, mainly lactic acid fermentation. At present, a variety of cereal-based fermented foods and beverages are produced at household and semi-industrial level and these foods are used as weaning food for infants and children and also for adults. Cereals are a major component of human food in all over the world. Nutritional experts have paid attention to cereal-based foods from maize, wheat, rice, barley, 
ओट स्वर्गम एंड मिलेट सोर्सेज सीरियल्स हैव हाई कंटेंट ऑफ सॉलेबल नॉन स्टार्च पॉलिसिक राइट सच एज बीटा ग्लोकन विच हैज अ हेल्थ प्रमोटिंग रोल clinical and epidemiological studies reported that beta glucan from oat and barley based products control cardiovascular disease in human beings cereals also contain relatively high levels of minerals vitamins sterols and other growth factors that support microbial growth physiological compounds used in functional food systems are available in cereals cereals are good fermentable substrates for the growth of probiotic organisms cereals have many health benefits for example prevent cardiovascular diseases and cancer reduces tumor lowers blood pressure controls cholesterol level lowers the incidence of heart diseases reduce the rate of fat absorption delays gastric emptying and improve gastrointestinal health dear students some of the common fermented foods used in india are idli it's a traditional fermented food prepared and consumed in south india and in many parts of sri lanka it is normally consumed with chutney and sambar Idli is made up of a blend of rice and dehulled black gram. Dosa Dosa is similar to idli but the dosa is thinner. A dosa is prepared by grinding wet rice and wet black gram individually with water and the two suspensions are then mixed and allowed to undergo fermentation usually for 8 to 20 hours. Dokla Dokla is cereals based fermented product. It is also similar to idli except that Bengal gram dal is used instead of black gram dal in its preparation. It is famous in South India and Sri Lanka. Jalebi It's a sweetened fermented product prepared by use of maida, refined wheat flour, dahi and water. kulcha naan and patora various types of traditional fermented snack foods like patora white wheat flour product kulcha white wheat flour product naan wheat flour product are prepared indigenously in india next is kenema it's a soya bean based fermented food and consumed in eastern himalayan regions of darjeeling hills and skim it's a curd and cheap source of protein adai and vada these both are cereal legume based breakfast and snack food in india says it is traditional semi fermented food of uttaranchal it's made from rice and mostly used as snacks health benefits of fermented foods Fermented foods function as a probiotics. Lactobacillus plantarum has been linked to reduce inflammatory bowel, reduce problems for sufferers of irritable bowel syndrome, and had a positive effect on the immune systems of those suffering from HIV. Many strains of probiotics have been directly linked to reduce bouts of digestive complaints. including diarrhea lactobacillus acidophilus also shows a preventive effect for adenomas and colon cancer as a source of nutrition fermentation increases the digestibility and nutritional value of cereals based foods cereals based fermented foods protect the body against age related diseases such as diabetes and cardiovascular diseases cereals also contain micronutrients such as vitamin e phenolic acids zinc iron selenium copper magnesium carotenoids etc which provide various types of health benefits 
fermented foods have been reported to have flatulence reducing effect. For example, during fermentation of the beans for preparation of temp, the trypsin inhibitor is inactivated and the amount of cereal oligosaccharides which usually cause flatulence are significantly reduced. Anticholesterol effect Some studies have reported hypercholesteremic effect of yogurt in human subjects receiving a one-week dietary supplement. Anticarcinogenic effect Anticarcinogenic effect of fermented foods showing potential role of lactobacilli in reducing or eliminating procarcinogens and carcinogens in the elementary canal. Provide functional components. Fermented cereals can also contain a high mineral content and generally have a lower fat percentage than their dairy based counterparts but grains are generally lacking in essential amino acids. These forms of beverages can also naturally provide plant-based functional components such as fiber, vitamins, minerals, flavonoids and phenolic compounds which can affect oxidative stress inflammation and carcinogenesis. Dear students, it's all about this topic. Hope you understood well. Thank you.